Okay, so as I'm digging, I felt a flick on it. And Dustin, what you got on you? I got poopy on me. Welcome back. It's Monday morning and life is truly amazing here on the farm. We just got our semi, just came here with our new dirt machine and our new conveyor belt that we are going to be unloading here in just a few minutes. Uh, down to the semi. Okay, I appreciate it. That was a lot of a lot of stress there for a few minutes. This thing was way bigger than what I imagined. That's 16 foot long. We're gonna check out the water level and see how low it's gone. Oh yeah, it's gone down quite a bit since saturday it looks like a couple other big chunks from the wall fell down in if you didn't see our video of the mudslide over there that was so fun definitely go check that out this is so exciting we are literally about to dig our first hole for our greenhouses <laughs> yeah We bought these greenhouses they were literally only about 18 inches off the ground we want the height in the tunnel that way we can get as much airspace as possible so we are literally setting these up as high as we possibly think we can get the tractor to put them up so we're gonna set it in here all right this pole right here will have a mark at 55 inches Ninja compactants without a tamping board. Make sure he's leveled up really nice and plumb. I got her. Huh? Let me. Well, I gotta make it look like I'm working. Right, this is what we experience all the time right here. Check this out. A lot of times they fly even closer to that. It's actually pretty cool to watch them just buzz right over top of you. Today we have some big projects we are working on. We are gonna be hooking the end rails and right over there on top of the post. We've got now this first beam up. The scary part is, is it does have quite a bit of play on the top. What we're gonna do, instead of put the end in first, we're going to get that next row in and hook those together. That way they have all the support. All right, we've got this giant man lift looking thingy. Uh, 
It doesn't look that high from up here, but I can tell you it feels really, really high. We've got this second pole in now. As we let the concrete dry before we put the other hoop on the house, we are coming on the back side of the greenhouse. There's this, the septic system that's been in here that's been running the inside. We're gonna clean this up and expose it so we know where we're gonna be able to hook the trailer into right here. And we're gonna be able to run all the water lines and everything right down here. So we're gonna start digging this out. <laughs> This is the sewer uh, hole that allows you to lift in and, and look and where they're gonna do the backflow or where they're gonna suck it out and stuff. And I popped that a little bit. So we're gonna pick, clean that off real good, make sure that we can get the seal back in there real good. All right, now we are gonna be hanging up this second pole here. Hey, Brody. On this side up, we've got one brace. We've got Brody one, two, three, four, the five bowl, more braces to go on this part. And then we can rest easy for a little while knowing that the structure is much, much safer. We were able to get one full hoop done. We did have a slight bomb go off. Uh, expected but not expected so the septic system that is already on the property i found out it was not installed properly all right i lost all of the audio on these clips i'm explaining that we decided to abandon the old septic line we're going to be coming out and down here running just under a hundred foot brand new septic line that way we don't have to worry about the old one that has in here and we have a ton of work to do. While Dustin is over there getting the new trench line dug for the septic system, I am hooking up to the dump trailer. That way we can get a bunch of the gravel ready to go. All right, this is leech line rock. We're trying to get the dump trailer a little closer to the hole this time. That way we don't have to do the tractor. Go ahead and dump her. Do it tonight. Or the amount of rock that's finally starting to add up inside of here is starting to look pretty awesome. We are you can kind of see the lumps, so we'll jump down in here. We'll smooth all this out. We're getting the propane tanks out of here. Dustin's over here cutting that line, so that way we can free this up. We need to dig this out just a little bit deeper because it didn't quite get down what that was. Okay, so as I'm digging, I felt a flick on it. And Dustin, what you got on you? I got poopy on me. You got little... Flicks on him <laughs> from uh, that. I and I can't really even say anything other than yucky. But that wasn't. No, that's, that's not, not poop. The, no, that's not the right line. That's irrigation. You don't have poopy don't on have you. Poopy on me. All right. Eh, eh, that's just irrigate. That's just cow poop. No one cares about cow poop. All right. Back to it. The sun is going to come up each and every day, day after day, no matter what goes on, positive or negative. When we feel the sun's presence, we can choose to see the beauty or see the negative. I choose to see the beauty, even though there is so much negative going on around me each and every day. I do the best that I can to be an amazing husband, father, and caretaker of the land God has given me. These guys are so sad down here, huh? Yeah? Did you want some too? Come here. Oh, hello. Is 
So these cows always start going crazy when those cows get fed first. So you hear them start just yelling at each other. Yep, see he's mad. Oh, gross. Licked my finger. We are experiencing this, this uh, leaseville rock is super, super hard to work with. It doesn't want to work with the shovel. It doesn't want to work with the rake. That was a rake, not a shovel. And you literally just have to like walk down it with your feet and it and it does the best job at pushing it down we've got the laser set up to where we know exactly what the level is on the bottom of our drain over here so what we need to do is fill this rock up all the way level to what that's gonna be which is right there we have picked up the four inch perf pipe we make sure those two things are face down that way it will Go right down that and then come right out the sides there. All right, there's the perf field. So this is the gray line coming out and we both almost put our finger in that to clean it out. I'm glad we didn't. There we go. We're priming everything, even though there is no pressure on these, we still want to make sure there's a good seal on this. Okay, so we're an inch, so we want to come up another half an inch. Okay, before, before you shove it in there, let's put it on there. So now, so okay, so the trick is what you do, is you get the rocks to the side, you check where you're at, you, while you're lifting, then you tamp it in. What happens is, if you lift it and shove rocks under there too much, guess what you end up doing? Freaking digging rocks back out. All right, we are sitting right about 95 degrees today. It's supposed to be up to 97 here in just the next little while. Our camera literally keeps shutting off today because it's so hot outside. It is it's truly incredible. It feels so good to have this pipe finally all the way installed. We are going to cover this pipe now with about one foot of rock covering the entire pipe. All right, this is definitely sketchy. What we're able to do though is get the dump trailer literally right next to the hole. Okay. We are getting close. You can see it's all the way full down there. And all we have is just this little bit left. We've got a few more uh, patches down there that we're gonna be covering up. We literally have the entire almost 100 foot run done. This is the last piece right here. So I wanted you guys to be a part of it. We tried our best to keep out the dirt as much as possible. Perforation starts right here. So all this is your standard four inch drain. You and I, we were meant to be I feel it in my soul We can throw a little couple of feel rocks it in my it. soul Never separated you and me Broken made whole Broken made whole The world that tries to steal to see these going in when we weren't planning on having this done today it just it's such an exciting process to watch this stuff really start to evolve well i got really excited to use the trencher forgot to put the locks in the trencher and it popped off in about three seconds so now it's taken me 15 minutes to get this thing chained up so we can get her out of here there we go now we'll be able to hook back up and get back to work That tries to steal our hope. Dustin, what happened? I uh, I tipped it over. <laughs>
the plan of action is to get this guy off first. That way we can just tip this guy right back up and get back to work. Well, that was quite the experience. Found out that this little guy is very uh, top end heavy. And if you get him even on a tiny little slant, falls over. Tries to make us now, but our love has the pond is really starting to sink down. So before we know it, we are gonna be leveling this out and getting ready to build the foundation of the building on it. We are uh, catastrophe two. Here we are. This, uh, this was super wet already from some trees that I dug out previously and the sprinkler line break. So let's go ahead and get him pulled out of here. So it's not just me, is it Peyton? No. All right. So I thought because of all my experience on equipment, I thought I could sneak in here. Well, that stuff is very ooey gooey. So we are going to avoid this entire area. We're gonna use the backhoe, dig out an 18 inch hole all the way to right about there. That way we don't sink this little guy anymore. There he is again. He's out every day. Go on, Houdini, go home, go. It's almost 7 p.m. and we are dead. We have had several sprinkler lines pop on us. Uh, they either were on an old line that we didn't know about or we turned on one a little too fast and it pressured up and popped out. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times you do it. If you don't hook PVC up just right and make sure and have all of the glue in on the corners, they will absolutely pop on you, especially if you have super high pressure. That said, thanks you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Ow, ow. Houdini, you go back home right now. Yeah, talking to you. Go home. Go home, Houdini.